Check it. What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are here to talk about Gran Turismo Sport as some very interesting news did come out around last week. So um, firstly I want to say a big credit to Rx Beaster. he actually linked me this on Twitter and actually introduced me to the article. So thank you very much, links will be down in the description to the source tweet if you want to go ahead and look at the article yourself. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get straight into the news which is probably already in the title. <laughs> This news is obviously that GT Sport could eventually feature up to 500 cars, which is very interesting because like only 150 or something like that are going to be at launch. No more than I'd say about 200 to 150 will be at launch. So that means there's going to be like 400 cars as DLC. This could be bad. <laughs> now, obviously, we don't know how they're going to structure DLC. If it's free, then you know what? 400 free cars sounds absolutely great to me. And the best thing about this is that there's going to be no more standard cars. Everything's going to be retextured to be premium cars. So, you know, the new standard won't be standard. It will just be premium. Everything will be premium with interiors and whatnot. So that's really cool, getting rid of all the old models that we don't really want to use anymore. I feel like when you make the jump over to PS4, the PS2 models that they were using before, before, the high-res PS2 models they were using before, are, they, ha they have to become irrelevant because they just won't fit in a PS4 environment. Um, so I completely understand why. But I'm more kind of worried as to how they're going to do this. So at launch, the game is set to have about 140 cars. Uh, and that's kind of what we know. And then they are looking to expand it to 500 with all of them being premium models. Now, whether that's variations of track cars, we don't really know. It, it might not even be 500 different cars, you know, because usually with Gran Turismo they have quite a few editions of the same car. They've kind of been notorious in the past for having certain editions of the Skyline over and over again, so they'll have like the R33 Midnight Purple Edition, then the R33 N1 and then the R33 V-Spec and then the R33 Standard, you know, so I don't think it'll be to that extent, but I think there may or may not be cars that are duplicates in there, um, but even then, to, to f how, how is it going to work, four to 500 cars? I just don't understand. Now, in pre Previous GT games, GT5 did have numerous paid DLCs, however GT6 didn't. All of GT6's updates were free, so uh, it begs the question, is there going to be microtransactions? Is there going to be, you know, paid DLC or free DLC? You know, how is everything going to work? How is everything going to tick? How many cars are we going to get in car packs? How many cars are we going to get in each patch update? You know, it's these types of questions which I'm kind of struggling to find the answers to at the moment because they haven't told us, obviously. So, you know, it's kind of just all about waiting and seeing and hopefully they clarify the situation because at the moment, everything seems pretty up in the air. And that pretty much rounds up for all the GT news. Uh, what do you guys think of it? You know, what do you guys think of the DLC structure? How do you think they should do it? Because obviously, if they do it and they make it all free, they somehow need to support that. So are they going to put microtransactions in and how hard are they going to push the microtransactions? Because almost 400 cars worth of DLC. It's a lot of freaking DLC. Um, so overall, guys, what do you think? And let me know down in the comments down below. We'll see if we can go ahead and get a discussion down there. Obviously, uh, Gran Turismo is coming around this November, so if you are going to pick it up on PS4, uh, again, let me know down in the comment section below. Uh, or, or, or you're not just going to pick it up. Maybe you've got a PS4 and maybe you're just not going to pick it up. Why not? Uh, again, let me know. I'm a bit confused still, still about GT Sport, you know, whether it's a prologue game or whether it's, whether it's an actual game, because it seems like it's a prologue our game at launch and then it's going to slowly turn into kind of a GT7 mock-up almost. That's kind of how I'm seeing it at the moment. That's the vibe I'm getting. Feels like they're going to get these 400 cars so GT7 has a big car list already and not, you know, the other way around. But anyway, uh, I'm rambling. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome day. Stay safe and peace.